Hello there everyone, thanks for coming out. This is my rendition of the Jurassic Park theme song on a trombone. That's going to have to do. I can't figure out those last notes. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. I love Guitar Hero. I love Rock Band. I love Beat Saber. I love Metal Hellsinger. I love Donkey Konga. I love rhythm games. So I sit squarely in the correct demographic for Trombone Champ Unflattened. I even bought the flat screen version of Trombone Champ at launch and played a ton of it. I love that game and I'm very excited for this game. But let me just say, even if you don't necessarily love rhythm games, this is a rhythm game you have to try. It is so joyful, so silly, so funny, and really nicely put together. This game has a level of polish, which is very impressive. And it's even more impressive when you realize this is a flat to VR production. This is flat to VR's first official release. And the level of quality, the level of polish is so nice. The menus have this really nice, sticky, clicky, uh, just, they just feel good. A lot of VR menus don't kind of feel right. They feel a bit floaty, trying to point that things isn't right. But there's a snappiness to this. And I'm not going to spend this whole video talking about the menus, but that's the immediate level of quality you're met with when you boot into Trombone Champ Unflattened. But what is this game? Well, this is a game that has a full-blown campaign where you are playing the trombone and you're playing classic songs to an audience of people who look a little bit like Mies from the Wii. They're kind of terrifying. And you have to perform the best that you can. Let's start with something simple. Let's start with... I hate that one. Let's start with Ode to Joy, okay? Because we all know Ode to Joy. Wonderful song. I will show you this and uh, just let you get a feel for what this game is. All right, here we go. Hello, where's my trombone? Oh my God, here it is. This is going to be perfect. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Look at all the little me people. They're so happy. Amazing. Are we still going? Oh, no, we're still going. <laughs> oh, my God, the fireworks, the confetti. That does it for me. Come on, big finish. This song never, ever ends. I thought it was shorter, but it's not. Oh, my God, when will... This song and I think it's nearly over now. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's got to be an S rank, right? I even made up my own little lyrics for it. Amazing. So that put me 12th in the world. There's people above me that I don't want to be above me. Like I don't want Mash Daddy Cool, VR with Jasmine, Miles. I think that might be. I think that might be Miles. The Miles that I know. I, I don't want these people above me, but it's fine. I'll, I'll take that place for now. So. You have a full campaign of songs like that that you play to this crazy little me audience and you have to get them in line with those lines that are coming towards you and hold the notes and hit the notes and it's very Guitar Hero, but it's with a trombone. Okay, so this is the campaign screen. Now, I haven't progressed through the whole thing yet. I've unlocked... What the hell was that? Total toots, 732... I didn't know I could... <laughs> Click on that. Is there anything else hiding around here that I can I can click on? Okay. No, just that. There is a trapdoor here. What? Oh. What? <laughs> There's a trapdoor there that I can knock on. And that has to do something, right? 
So this is the campaign. So you move your way through all these different sections and each section has different songs. And the idea is to complete the challenges and get the highest scores you can get. Now I've completed 21 out of 157 challenges. Now the challenges are in here. So Ota Joy is gonna play right now and give me a backing track for me explaining this. So in Ota Joy, there's three challenges here which I have completed. Firstly, it's Perfect Tutathon, get 30 Perfectos. Turbo Toots, maintain a max multiplier for 5 seconds. And Nasty No No, get less than 5 Nasties. Now, if you accomplish those challenges, you unlock some... Oh, hello little devil man. You unlock Toots. <laughs> it all sounds so ridiculous. You then bring your Toots... To the little devil shopkeeper who is like completely 2D by the way and he looks amazing, really crisp. Um, you bring your toots to him and you buy a sack of cards. So this game's kind of got like a trading card game mechanic inside it as well. So you get these cards and you exchange the cards for new trombones. So if I wanted this little one here, the Decibel Decimator, I need these two cards. I need Glenn Miller and Music. I don't own Glenn Miller, so I have to keep buying sacks to hopefully eventually get Glenn Miller. But I need more toots to buy the sacks. I don't think... Oh, no, I can get that one. I can buy the Pipe Piper. You know what? Yeah, I'll have it. Oh, hell yeah, right. I have purchased... <laughs> You bought an imaginary trombone. I did. That is exactly what just happened. That is the pipe. Pi oh, it has, this one has a special sound. Oh, it sounds a bit toilety. Yeah, there's like a kind of a wet noise. Oh, that one just sounds like wet farts. Nah. I'm not a fan of that one. I'm not a fan of that one. It is very cool, though. Um, I also have, like, my classic trombone, which is just the normal one that you get in the game. I have a Toot Decay one. This one is, like, a sweetie one made out of delicious-looking sweets. Very cool. Uh, I do like this Fiesta Party one as well, but this one has the worst sound you've ever heard. <laughs> Horrible. I, like, I can't get through a whole song with that because it sounds disgusting. Um, Valhalla horn. Look at that. Just a classic sound for that one. Uh, Black Friday. I think this one actually does have like a Black Friday tag on it. There we go. Look. Black Friday sale. It, it's just so cool. And a honking donut. I think the top of this is just a big donut. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> So you've got all these trombones to collect, but you can also customize your trombones with the spray cans. Now you can get a metallic finish. Let's do a let's do a pink, let's do a hot pink finish on this. And then you can spray and customize your trombones with whatever color you want. You know, if you want to do pink, you can do pink. If you want to do green, you can do green. Metallic, you can do metallic. Matte, you can do matte. And then you can even get a little sharpie and customize them at the end. So there we go, hot pink, hot pink trombone. And I can take this little sharpie thing and in green, I think I can write on it. Ah. Oh, it's a bit chunky. B, 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 E, 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 e N, Ben. <laughs> That is the shittest trombone I've ever seen. Uh, and this one is just a matte colour, so we can do like a bit of yellow at the top. So you don't have to do it all one colour. You can do little kind of accents. We can do a bit of, this is disgusting, a bit of blue here. Is that blue? I don't even know. That is the worst trombone I've ever seen. And then let's just finish it off with a nice bit of dark blue at the back there. This is the pizza song. It's the pizza song, right? We're gonna play the pizza song with my <laughs> ugly trombone. All right. <laughs> oh my god. This was a bit harder.
this really would be the ultimate party game, man. Oh my god! <laughs> it sounds a bit like the song, you know? Why are there bubbles now? I can't, like, jig and play at the same time. It takes too much concentration. Yeah! That wasn't the best score, surely. It was a bit of a mess. A. I'll take an A. I'll take an A. And I got some more toots. Now, in this one, I did see the top of the global leaderboard for that song earlier. I'm pretty sure it's Alex VR from Between Realities um, podcast. And his score was like crazy. He's clearly been playing a lot of this because he's at the top of most leaderboards that I'm seeing right now. So, like, there are so many songs in this. Um, and some of them you'll know and others you, you won't. Um, I tried this one earlier, the Scar one. So hard, so hard. Like, this song, I feel like I know. Like, I know that song. But why do I know it? Is it just a meme? I'm not sure. So yeah, this game has tons of songs. Um, like God Save the King, Oh Canada. Oh, this is a good one because it's like the. I love that. That's so good. Bro, I'm actually going to try and do this good. <laughs> this is so hard. Come on, we can pull it back. Come on, crowd, don't look so sad. Come on, please, I'm trying. Oh, they're waking up a little bit. Come on now. Oh, they're coming around to it. I'd like to see an actual scar, like trombone or trumpet player play this game. Every time I try and win the crowd over, I lose them. I have them clapping like twice. Come on, guys, get into it, dance! Yes. <laughs> yes. It sounds horrible. I'm smashing it now. They're loving it. They're having a good time. Come on! That's got to be my best score on that particular song. That was pretty good. I smashed. Oh, okay, it's only a B. That's not. That's not great. 
That puts me eighth in the world. Eighth. I'll take an eighth. The game isn't out yet, so it doesn't mean much. How did M get seven thousand million? Seven million? Oh, that's insane. Some people are just really good at rhythm games, and that's that's just sadly it isn't me. Do I have any more toots? I've got loads of toots. I'm gonna buy a bunch of bags of cards. Give me a sack. All right, who we got? We got a hot dog, Max Tundra. He looks cool. Bella Bartok and Jack Teagarden. Is that his real name? That's a great name. Uh, give me another sack. Keep those sacks coming. Arthur Pryor Basecleff. Lovely. Brass and Philip. J uh, John Philip Sousa. Okay, I can probably get... Oh, I can get a brass worst. Right, I think there's a few different trombones I can actually afford now. I can get this hot dog one, which is funny. Uh, um, that might be it. That might be it. But... I can trade my duplicate cards in for cards that I need to get a different trombone. I really want this fish one. I really want this fish one, so I need the babby card. So if I look at my cards, here they are. And again, you've got these lovely clicky, sticky menus. Really, really nice. Now, if I have three of one type, I can exchange. I've got three of this beardy guy. So if I click exchange, I can exchange him for hopefully babby is here. Can we see babby? Babby? Oh, maybe Babby is a special card. Where is Babby? There is! There is! Okay, we can swap some of those for a Babby. Confirm it. And now I have enough to get the C scale, which is just the only trombone I really want. It's a fish! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Does it have a special sound? How am I supposed to play that? I love it. I love the fish. You don't have to have the special sound, by the way. So you can turn that off and just use the fish as a regular trombone. Look at that. He's singing his little heart out. I love it. Right, before I play one more song, I just want to show you a couple more things. Now, like I said, this game has a really nice sticky, clicky menu system. It feels so nice to navigate through menus. But it also has some really nice little bits of polish. Like, you can pick up your individual trading cards and look at them up close. And can you see, like, the foiling on it as I slowly move it, like how it glitters? If I move it fast, it glitters more. The level of polish in this game is exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. They have gone to town on making sure this is just so clean. Clean is the best way I can describe it. Hold on, hold on, hold on here. I can buy a hot dog. I can buy the hot dog thing. I'm having it. I'm having the hot dog one. Thank you. Yeah, I'll have it. I'm not going to equip it, though, because I'm using the fish. Um, so, yeah, the game has just a crazy level of polish. It's a simple game. But it has loads of hidden details as well. Like, this trapdoor, that's, that's going to do something. The campaign isn't just playing songs. There are apparently boss fights and things in there. Can't show them in this video. I haven't even unlocked any. But apparently there's more to the campaign than meets the eye. It isn't just playing the songs. It's great. I can't wait to see how people customize their trombones. You could do all kinds of crazy patterns on them, paint them, draw on them with Sharpies. I love this game. It's so joyful. It's a great little party game. Take your headset to a friend's house or play some songs. Stream it to the TV. It's so joyful. And I think we need more games like this. But it's also a game that has a skill level you will try to get better at it to be able to accomplish the harder songs and get higher on the scoreboards. So yes, it is a simple game, but it's one that can hook you in if you have that that thing in your brain that kind of demands you do better each time. I know I have it. It, it grabs me whenever I play a rhythm game. So this game will pull me in and not let me go. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> I want you to do... 
one more good performance for you, but I'm afraid that is not happening today. That is so hard. That is so hard. My longest combo was six. That's a new high score. All right, I'll take it. That's 11th in the world. How are people getting high scores on that? You have to be an absolute beast. Right, this is Trombone Champ. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I absolutely love this game. There's so much more to it that I haven't been able to show and won't be able to show for a little while yet. Big fan of it. If you love rhythm games, if you love silly games, if you love games with a curve of skill level that you have to learn and get better at, it, it's just it's just so joyous. And flat to VR, if this is the level of polish they're bringing to their ports, yeah, we're in good hands. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for another one. Peace out.